What's up everyone? Happy New Year from Wrestling Insight to you and yours. And here we go guys. 2024 and Mania season is upon us. Last night, WWE kicked the New Year off with their Day 1 Raw special. And I've got to be honest with you, the show kept pace with the positive momentum and upswing the company is in creatively, even without featuring CM Punk this week. Several great segments and matches on the show. Lots of R-Truth all over it, who, since he's come back, has been the best thing on WWE television, in my opinion. Two very entertaining World Heavyweight title matches on both the men and the women's sides. The men's one almost featured a cash-in from Damian Priest, and I've got to admit, they got me there. I legit thought he was going to complete the cash-in for a minute. And of course, what everyone is talking about, the return of both... Jinder Mahal, and Hollywood Dwayne. Yay. Let me try to hold my excitement back, guys. Truth be told, I couldn't care less, man. I don't know. Jinder, at least, looks like a wrestler, acts like a wrestler, carries himself with the presence of a wrestler, so I like Jinder Mahal. And I'm happy to see him back, I guess. But Dwayne's act grew still over two decades ago, and even his Hollywood movies are crap. Sorry to any Rock fans listening, it's just how I feel. If you're nostalgic for the guy, I get it. Apparently he wants a piece of Roman Reigns just as bad as our hero who wants to finish his story, Cody Rhodes does. Which is leading many online to question if he's taking Cody's spot in the WrestleMania main event this year. I certainly hope not. I'm thinking this will be a short run for The Rock and a side quest of sorts for the Tribal Chief heading into Mania as the two clash at the Royal Rumble or something. Building up Roman even more, popping numbers and Mania hype for WWE, and giving The Rock a chance to help promote his new UFL football league that has, coincidentally, just been announced. Win-win for everyone, even the fans, right? Or at least I hope so. So, taking this into consideration... WWE really knocked it out of the park with last night's day one a show. Uh, even though I personally may not be a fan, The Rock being back for another run heading into Mania is a huge thing for the company. And Jinder Mahal being back gives them another much needed heel on the roster as they face the ongoing problem of being loaded down with a ton of super over baby faces. Again, even more so with The Rock back now too. So... I don't know. Can can you even call that a problem? It sounds more like a blessing, really, if you think about it. And it's it's a big reason why the company is, is has got such electric momentum going into 2024 now. For the first time in a very long time, I'm entertained and excited about the product. And I'm truly looking forward to the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. And I haven't been able to say that in close to a decade. Fans are starting to brand this new era of the company terms like the Renaissance era or the Resurgence era, and every week I'm starting to agree more and more. I love the direction the company is in creatively, and I'm a huge fan of the roster pretty much from top to bottom right now. It's loaded and overflowing with talent. Not only that, but talent that's being used properly. Let me emphasize that properly. Keep doing what you're doing, Hunter, and the other guys over at TKO. 2024 is looking like it's going to be one of the best in a very long time. Pop into the comments and let us know how, how you're feeling about 2024. I'll be doing a video forecasting how 2024 looks for AEW later today. So if you enjoyed, be on the lookout for that. If these do well, heck, I may even make one on TNA. Anyways, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.